Good morning, good morning, good morning. You got your girl Sabrina right here. Ah. Get up this morning and have a not so ordinary praise, right? This ain't no ordinary worship. This ain't no ordinary song. Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The ordinary. Hey, Mr. George Bandy, how are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Like and share this video, guys. I'm going to show you guys how you can use relationships, right? Good morning, Ann. How you doing? Like and share this video, guys. Like and share this video. My time. Like and share this video. I'm about to tell you guys how you can use relationships. How to master relationships, all right? So share this video. The hymn of it's coming. I'm a All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. You got your girl Sabrina right here. And I just wanted to come through this morning just to help you guys understand relationships. All right. I just want to help you guys understand relationships. So do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the share button because I need to hit. I need to help some people this morning with relationships. Okay. And so when I mean a relationship, I'm not just talking about a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, William. I'm not just talking about um, a husband and wife relationship. I'm not just talking about, you know, um, me, a, a platonic relationship. I'm talking about all relationships, period, with anybody that you know. All right. Anybody that you know, that you talk to here and there, that's a relationship. All right. Anybody that you talk to, that is a relationship. And so what I want to say this morning is that a lot of us are not using our relationships and Everybody that God has put in your circle, everybody that God has put in your circle, good morning, Quetta, like and share this video for me, baby. Everybody that God has put in your circle back when you was in middle school, high school, all the way up till you're an adult, it's your job to identify why you are there, why you are connected to that person. And I'm going to tell you, it's only two reasons why you are connected to a person. You are connected to a person for either for them to elevate you or to kill you. Do you understand that? Do you understand that everybody that you are connected to are in your life for one or one or the other? They're in your life to elevate you or they're in your life to kill you. I'm going to say that one more time because I want everybody to hear what I'm saying. People in your life right now or in your life to either elevate you or to kill you. Okay, so you is your job to identify, to discern why is this person in my life? Are they in my life to elevate me? Or are they in my life to kill me? And so then you got to ask yourself, you know, what are my goals? This is how you know whether they're in your life to kill you. Hi, Aretha. This is how you know if the relationship is to kill you or to elevate you. Hi, Marianne. This is how you know. You must have a goal. You must have a goal in life. What are your goals for next month? What are your goals for today? What are your goals for five years from now? And then if you know that, good morning. If you know that, if you know what your goal is, then you can look at every relationship in your life and say, are you here? You can think in your mind, is this person here to elevate me or is this person here to kill me? Because the, 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 the God has an assignment 
and the devil has an assignment. And they, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter who they use. God don't care who he use, and the devil definitely don't care who he use. He will use your mama, daddy, sister, brother, friend, husband, whatever, to kill you. All right? He will use whatever to kill you. And so you have to understand, is this relationship serving me, or is this relationship hindering me and killing me? Good morning, Renell. Hit the like button and share this video, because I truly believe... We are forming relationships and we have relationships with people who are not good for us, who are put in our lives to kill us. And so any idea that you have, any business that you have, good morning, Nancy, anything that you have as far as a dream and a goal, you can get it done. You can get it done, but it's going to depend on the relationships. It's going to depend on the the, the alliances that you have made. God has sent somebody to help you. All right. God is a spirit, just like you are a spirit. You are you were created in the likeness of God. Family is sent to kill you too, quarter. It doesn't matter who they are. You got to discern. It's some family members I don't even hang with because I know they were sent to kill me. It does not matter. Everybody has an assignment. I need you to hear this. Everybody has an assignment. Your child has an assignment. Your mother has an assignment. Your husband has an assignment. And if you are in the equation, then you have to discern, is this person here to kill me? Or is this person here to elevate me? And so you have to understand it. And the only way to identify that, one or the other, is to know what are your goals? What is your assignment? I know my assignment. And so I know that if it's somebody in my life that's not conducive to my assignment, then they are killing me. They are killing me slowly, ladies and gentlemen. And so we have to understand that for a moment, Okay. Your network is your network. It's that person that's in your life because God knew that they could, they was the bridge between you, where you are now, and where you want to go. God knew that they were the bridge to where you are now, to where you want to go. But it's up to you to decide, it, why is this person here? Is this person here to elevate me or is this person here to kill me? Good morning, Miss Bulger. How you doing? Good morning, G Gerard Robinson. I need you guys to like and share this video because I don't. But we sit around and have friends for ten years who have not elevated us yet, and we don't even realize that this person was sent to kill us. We don't even understand that this person was sent to to take our power away. And so we have to understand why. It's you have every answer that you need to your problem. You have every answer to your financial problem. You have every answer to your marriage problems. You have every answer to your career problems. And it's tied up in the people that you have around you. And so we have to learn how to use relationships. We have to know how to form relationships. And if you know what you want out of life, then you know how to form relationships. Because if I'm talking to Jared, Gerard, I meant, and me and him are talking and we're connecting... I can identify because I know what my goals and dreams are just by talking to him. I can tell, is that a person that I need to be connected to? I know the right questions to ask to know, is this person who I need to be connected to? Because I got a dream and a goal. I need to know quick, fast, and in a hurry because the more time I spend with Gerard is the more opportunity I'm giving him to kill me or elevate me. And so if you are paying attention to the relationship, if you are paying attention to your words, if you are paying attention to his actions, if I'm paying attention to my actions, I can tell whether this person was here to, to kill me or elevate me. And so we'll sit around people and they will plant seed in us that is, that is a germ seed that is killing us and we haven't even realized it and we walk around in depressed. We walk around with anxiety. We walk around with unanswered questions. Everybody in your life should be able to help you get to the next level, next level in life. And so they could possibly ask, answer the question that you need to be answered. But 
Is that the relationship that you need to be in? Is some, for example, I was a stripper, right? But I met this guy named Kevin Barnett. And he probably he he not watching me now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reach I'm gonna tag him in this video so you will know who he is. Very awesome and amazing guy. But listening, I knew I had a dream and goal to get out of the strip club. By him coming in and giving me a few dollars to dance for him, I chose to listen and ask first ask the right right questions. Then I chose to listen to the conversation. Good morning, Tiana. Listen to what his. Um, conversation would be like to understand could he help me and in fact mr barnett could very well help me i went to get out of club and i out of the strip club and i had a goal to open up a tax office guess what mr barnett was he was a tax preparer with his own office so i was able to take that relationship out of the club into corporate america and use that relationship because he helped me put every computer in my tax office. He helped me get the um, resources for me to get the iCloud system so I could hire CPAs and watch what they were doing in my office. Why was I able to do that? It's because I formed a relationship. I formed an alliance with someone who could get it done. So that person was there to help me. That person was there to help me. That person was not there just to come in the club and give me $5 for a dance. His assignment was bigger than that. His assignment was bigger than that. And so we have to understand why we have relationships, Tracy. We have to understand why was Tracy sent to me? Why was Aquata sent to me? Why was Renelle sent to me? Why was Ger Gerard or... Um, Miss Bulger or Miss Brown, why was these people sent to me? Were they sent to me to help me? Were they sent to me to kill me? And so you got to be able to, I know this sounds crazy, but you got to be able to use your relationships. Your network will determine your net worth. The people you hang around will determine how much you're worth, how much money you make, how much you know. You can only get to the level of the person, the smartest person in your group. You can only get to the highest level of the smartest person in your group. So look around in your circle and determine how much money does this person make that's in my circle? What type of house does this person live in that's in my circle? Because I know this sounds crazy as hell, y'all, but the highest income in your circle is the highest income you will be able to achieve. The biggest house in your circle is the biggest house you will be able to, to purchase unless you form new relationships, unless you form new alliances. New relationships is new information. New relationships is new money. Okay? And so we have to understand that why is this relationship here? I cannot stress that enough because we have people in our circuit circle that are not elevating us. And so I need you guys to get out, leave that circle right now. If the person that you are connected to is not conducive to your dreams and goals. But if you don't have a dream or goal, then guess what? Maybe that person is sitting into your life to help you identify your dream and goal. But the quicker that you can identify your own dream and goal is the quickest you can determine why this person is in my life and how can I use this person to get to the next level? How can I use this person to get to the next level? I want to make friends with millionaires. I want to make friends with well-educated people. I want to make friends with people who got resources. You know why? Because I got resources. I got money. I can help people. So why do I want to connect with other people who don't have anything to offer? If I connect with myself to somebody who don't have nothing to offer, I will quickly find myself depleted of all my resources. I will find myself depleted of all my money. I will find myself depleted, meaning close to death, because I've given out everything that I have, but that person that I'm in a relationship was not able to pour back into me and give me what I needed. And so that is why 
We need to form good relationships, people that can help us. If I'm helping you, type yes in the comment box. Give me some hearts, y'all. It don't cost nothing to give me some hearts. It don't cost nothing to put yes in the comment box. It don't cost nothing to like and share this video. If I'm helping you, give me some likes. Hit the share button. So on today, I need you guys to look around in your circle and ask yourself, is this person here to kill me or is this person here to elevate me? I promise you, you will have the resources to that business that you want to open if you had the if your friend had the resources. If you don't know and you got friends in your circle who don't know, then how are you guys going to get anywhere? How? How are you going to get anywhere if the people in your circle do not know? And so you have to be able to say, form relationships with people who know these things. You have to become a person who knows some things. You need to become a person of value. So now your friends who need information, who need resources on how to earn more money, how to become a better mother, how to become a better wife, how to become a better businesswoman, a businessman, if you have the answers to the questions, then guess what? You are a better resource for your friend. And now you can elevate your friend. Right. But see, finances come from people, y'all. Money comes from people. Let's understand that. Money comes from people. People are money. So the more, if you got a million friends, you can get a million dollars. You can ask every friend for a dollar. If you got people in your life, you don't need money. By being my friend, if you're smart, by being my friend, if you are just my friend and you are smart and you got a good business mind, you know how to create, you know how to come up, get an idea in your mind and I got the money, you got the idea, I got the money, guess what's going to happen? We can work together. We can go in business together. Because now that person is a resource. It didn't have, that person didn't have any money, but that person knew how to run this business. And so that is just as good as money. We got to, don't even look at, stop putting a dollar amount on the person. Put a resource on that person. Put the resource in that person. If it's if you have a problem right now and there's nobody in your circle that can answer it, I'm sorry. Drop them. Drop them. They are not your friends. If your friend can't give you no money, your friend should at least be able to give you information. Information is money. Information is money. You can take that information and take it all the way to the bank. You can produce something. You can create something with information. That's why people are able to go to school and become doctors. They're able to take the information, the knowledge from the school, and go run a full hospital or a full practice to become a doctor. That's how come lawyers go to school. If a lawyer goes to school, they get the resources to become a lawyer. They didn't get any money from going to school. They got knowledge. Knowledge, information turns into dollars turns into wealth. And so you need the people around you to have resources, not money, baby. You guys need people around you who have resources. Resources, information turns into money. You can take the information that I give you and create a business. You can take the information that I give you and make investments. You can take the information I'm giving you, Keisha, And walk it straight to the bank. People have information. Relationships. So it's very important to find out what your friend is doing that is successful. And duplicate it. Partner with them. Don't compete. Partner with them. Collaborate with them. See how you can help them make their business better. That is how we use relationships. God put people in your life for a reason. Everybody is assigned to you for a reason. 
You are assigned to somebody for a reason. You are assigned to make an impact on somebody's life. God is not going to come out the sky and stand in front of me and do abracadabra and make something appear. He's not. If I'm praying for something, I'm going to pray for it. And I better have my eyes, ears, nose, and my senses open because God is going to place a person, a person in my life that's going to be able to help me with what I've been praying for. But Sabrina got to be able to discern and identify why the person is in my life and use that person for the reason that God put them in my life. God did not put people in your life to get drunk with. God did not put people in your life to, to, to bullshit with. God did not put people in your life to go have fun and party with. God did not put people in your life to gossip. God did not put people in your life. Just so you can say, oh, that's my friend. That's been my friend for 10 years. Well, what can that friend bring to the table? What type of friend are you? We have to be able to use relationships. I have been able to get so far in life because of the relationships that I have. I didn't know anything about the bus business, but I was at a football game, a, a, a Falcons game. I met a man that owned a 55 motor coach bus. He gave me the information on how to run the 55 motor coach bus. And guess what? Now I got a whole bus business. Now I got a whole bus business. I didn't know nothing about a tow truck business, but I met a guy who owned a tow truck. I met a guy who owned a tow truck who knew how to get a, a DOT number, who knew how to get a, a, um, a, a motor carrier number, who knew how to get the jobs. So guess what? I formed a relationship with this man. So now I have a whole tow truck earning six, seven figures a year because of the relationship. He didn't give me any money. He gave me information. And I took the information, bought a tow truck running a tow truck. I've never owned a smoothie bar ever. I have no, I had no idea on how to open a smoothie bar. And to be honest with you, I still have no idea, but guess what? I got a friend who owns planet smoothie, him and his wife franchised a planet smoothie. So now guess what? I have the information that I need to open a smoothie bar because I form a relationship with a family who owns a smoothie bar. So now I have the knowledge and the information from the resource, which was my friend, to open up a smoothie bar. Never ran one, never worked in a smoothie bar, but I got the information from a friend who owns and is operating a Planet Smoothie. So don't sit up here and tell me, oh, I don't have the resources. I don't have the money. If you don't have the money, then guess what? Go find friends who got the money. If you don't have resources, go find the friend who got the resources. It's just that simple, my friends. If you're watching this video right now, put a one in the comment box. Let me know that you are here. Let me know this information is good. If you're watching the replay, put the number two in the comment box. And if this is good information, hit the share button. Share this video, y'all, because we all have relationships that are not serving us. But why aren't they serving us? Because you, my friend, have not identified why you are in the relationship. You, my friend, have not identified the resources that's inside of your per of your friend. You, my friend, have not discerned why there, these people are in your life. You have left people in your life too long who are not serving you a purpose. Relationships are supposed to be used. Even God formed relationships with his 12 disciples, right? 
God had 12 disciples and he formed a relationship with them, right? And what did God do? He used them. He used the disciples to go out and teach. He used the disciples to go out and heal. He used the disciples for their influence. His disciples had influence. So he used their influence to save other people, to heal other people. So my friends, why are your friends in your life? Are you using your friends to impact other people? Are you using your friends to build businesses? Are you using your friends to heal people? That's what God did. God used the 12 disciples. He had a relationship with the 12 disciples and he used them to be teachers, to be prophets, to do healing, to, to, to do all the things in the world that he didn't have to do himself. He taught them how to do it. And so I want to encourage you on today to form relationships with people who can help you. Be able to identify. God, I, he formed a relationship with... um. Judas, right? Judas was one of the 12 disciples. He formed a relationship with Judas, even though he knew Judas was there to kill him. Do y'all understand what I'm telling you right now? Judas was a, a, he had a relationship with Judas and Judas was, he discerned, he identified why Judas was in his life. God said, Judas is here to kill me. Judas is here to betray me. Judas is in my life because he is the one that's going to display me. So now I can be hung on the cross and save the sins of my people. So even Judas served a purpose. Even Judas was a resource to our deliverance, to us, our sins being saved. Judas was even used to save us. The enemy was used to save us from our sins. So my friends, identify why people are in your life. Identify the relationships. You don't need money. You need relationships. If your friend got money and you got an idea, I'm sure that friend will believe in your idea and help you open your business. My friend has. I didn't have any money, but my friend had money. But he or she believe in me, help me open up my business. It was a resource. I didn't need any money. I needed the information and I needed their money. They needed my idea. They had the money, but what good is if you got money and don't have an idea? You got money, but you don't know what to do with it. You need a friend that knows. So now y'all can partner together. Let cash out, Kendall. He in the garage. So, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to share this video. I need you to like and share this video. And I need you to pay attention to your relationships moving forward today. Pay attention. Is this relationship here to elevate me? Or is this relationship here to kill me? The quicker you identify that, the quicker you can get to your dreams and goals. The quicker you can, he in the cage. The quicker you can get to your dreams and goals. The quicker you can eliminate that friend out of your life who sent to kill you. We understand y'all? Somebody put yes in the comment box if you understand me. Somebody say yes in the comment box. If you guys understand me, put yes. Put some fire and take him outside. So why would you open the garage and take him out? Am I helping somebody right now? Put some fire in the comment box. Put a yes in the comment box. And please share the video. If I'm helping you, share the video. Let's help somebody else. All right? And so I'm, I'm about to get ready to take my daughter to school. Pay attention to your relationships, guys. Relationships, I mean, it, it sounds crazy, but we are to use people. And we are to be used as well. 
I want all my friends to use me. Use me. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for a good time. I'm not here for to smile. I'm here to help prosper you. I'm here to help elevate you. I'm here to help you become a better wife, a better husband, a better businessman, a better businesswoman. I'm here as your friend to help you. So use me. Use me. I'm not putting all this knowledge in me just for me. I'm putting it in me because I want to be a good resource to my friends. I can't help my friends if I don't have resources. I can't help my friends if I don't have money. I can't help my friends if I don't have information. And so if you're watching me and you're saying, I don't have good friends. Well, are you a good friend? Do you have money? Do you have resources? Do you have information? If you don't have money, if you don't have resources, if you don't have information, how do you expect to have friends that can help you? You ain't no help to nobody. Even the word of God says, if you want friends, show yourself friendly. If you want love, you got to give love. You cannot get anything that you aren't giving. You can't have anything that you are not giving. So work on you. Go get you some money. Go get you some knowledge. Go get you some resources so somebody can use you. And in return, you can use them. That is why we form relationships. We form relationships for help. That is why. Your husband is there to help you. Your children are there to help you. There's no reason why you should have a business and got to hire somebody else. Equip your children to do the job. Every friend was sent to you for a reason. It's up to you to identify why. All right. So I'm going to speak my affirmations. I want you guys to follow me. I will listen to the Holy Spirit within. I will lead and not follow. I will believe and not doubt. I will create and not destroy. I am a force for good. I defy the odds. I set new standards. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the barrier. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. I am happy. I am, I am humble. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am a money magnet. I am a walking vault. I am a champion. And I deserve to win. Woo! You got to empower yourself, baby. It felt so good to say those affirmations. I love you guys. Like and share this video. Be a good friend. Form relationships that can help you. If they're not there to help you, they're there to kill you. Bye-bye now.